President Obama has come under heavy criticism for his handling of Iran's nuclear ambitions and the assault of the U.S. compound in Benghazi, Libya. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has put pressure on the White House to draw red lines on Iran's nuclear ambitions. But in his address to the UN, the President did not meet his requests. In his address, the President made it clear that he believes there is time to try and resolve this problem with diplomacy, but that time is not unlimited. Obama seems to be straying from the past administration's unilateral approach to foreign policy. With the diplomatic approach, the administration is clearly moving away from the idea that the U.S. is the sole nation with the responsibility of solving world conflicts. But he acknowledged the dangers of a nuclear-armed Iran. President Obama stated, make no mistake, a nuclear-armed Iran is not a challenge that can be contained. It would threaten the elimination of Israel, the security of Gulf nations, and the stability of the global economy. It risks triggering a nuclear arms race in the region and the unraveling of the non-proliferation treaty. President Obama also took the time to acknowledge the death of U.S. Ambassador Chris Stevens. He recounted how Ambassador Stevens was in Benghazi to review plans to establish a new culture center and modernize a hospital. Chris Stevens embodied the best of America, Obama said. Even with all the criticism he is facing due to these events, Obama believes that his foreign policy is working. He reminds us how he has ended the Iraq war, weakened al-Qaeda, and killed Ob Osama bin Laden, and how these events give him credibility in dealing with the Middle East.